Sample this. You would agree that apart from several other factors, the engines of growth for any state are primarily its infrastructural growth. They are parameters that drive a state's growth and prosperity. Likewise, a monumental infrastructure push came from Maharashtra's Deputy Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis. He has done something that not many have been able to achieve. He's brought Maharashtra's longest expressway, the Hindu Rudar Samrat Barasaheb Thakre Maharashtra Samruddhi Mahamarg to near completion. This 701 km stretch connecting Nagpur to Mumbai is not just a road but a visionary leap towards inclusive growth and connectivity in Maharashtra. Let's take a closer look at how Fadnavis and his administration have been the driving force behind this transformative project. Connectivity is the backbone of development and Maharashtra has just reinforced that with the Samrudhi Expressway. This project, linking Nagpur to Mumbai, traverses 10 districts and over 300 villages promising to open doors for new socio-economic landscape in the state's underserved areas, especially Vidarbha. The idea of an expressway connecting Maharashtra's eastern and western ends was first conceptualized by Deputy CM Devendra Fadnavis during his tenure as Nagpur's mayor. Seeing the untapped potential of Vidarbha, he realized that connecting it with Mumbai, Maharashtra's financial heart, was the path to economic upliftment. Fadnavis envisioned the expressway not just as a transportation corridor but as an economic corridor sparking growth through connectivity. Following the project's announcement in 2015, Fadnavis led from the front working alongside the Maharashtra State Road Development Corporation also known as MSRDC to ensure the project's rapid progress. Within four years, land acquisition, route planning and environmental clearances were in place and construction officially began in 2019. Despite the typical delays seen in other states, Maharashtra was quick to lay down this project's foundation, emphasizing transparent negotiations with landowners and local communities. This expressway was not just about connecting two points. With 18 proposed townships along the way, an entire economic ecosystem has been envisioned. These townships will bring education, healthcare and job opportunities directly to the adjoining areas as well. The expressway is planned to support multiple sectors from logistics and manufacturing to agriculture, encouraging new investments and creating opportunities. So how did Fadnavis pull off that many couldn't? Under Fadnavis's guidance, MSRDC deployed a war room approach streamlining interagency coordination and eliminating traditional bureaucratic delays. The central oversight allowed the project to proceed without the typical setbacks that have plagued other infrastructure projects nationwide. The key infrastructure highlights are 701 km stretch from Nagpur to Mumbai, six tunnels including a 7.7 km twin tunnel, the longest highway tunnel in Maharashtra, 24 interchanges linking to key industrial areas and the Jawaharlal Nehru Port Trust. The expressway success is further reflected in the funding strategy. Fadnavis creatively securitized toll collections from the Mumbai Pune Expressway, raising rupees 9,000 crores to back this initiative. These funds, supplemented by rupees 5,000 crores from state agencies, streamlined land acquisition and construction efforts, accelerating the expressway's development. More than a road, the Samrudhi Expressway is a testament to how vision-driven leadership can transform infrastructure. With most of it operational and full completion on the horizon, the expressway has set a benchmark in India establishing Maharashtra as a leader in connectivity infrastructure. The Samruddhi Expressway exemplifies how focused, cohesive leadership can bring visionary projects to life. Under Devendra Fadnavis's leadership, Maharashtra has demonstrated that infrastructure projects can indeed succeed and reshape regions, providing a blueprint for inclusive growth across India. Don't miss out. Log on to oneindia.com for more updates.